Happy Sunday, cozy friends. Good morning, Ray. Good to see you. Just getting the game loaded up here. How are you today? How is everybody doing? You're playing Animal Crossing too? It's always a good choice. Good morning, Isabel. We have six minutes to buy turnips. Do you think we can make it? Ray, your favorite villager moved in. Yeah, as long as we can find her. I guess the good news is my island still doesn't have bridges or staircases, so she can't be... Well, I guess she could be anywhere because she just spawns randomly, right? Alright, we're gonna skip the mail and talking to villagers for the time being. Oh no! I didn't mean to spoil both of those. Just one. Oh. Oh well. Life happens. Okay, so we're mixing up our Animal Crossing morning routine today. I'm gonna go straight to Daisy May. We'll have to do the mail and villager check-ins afterward. Good morning, Erin. Happy Sunday. How are you? Good to see you. Okay, how much pocket space do I have? Eh, enough. It'll be fine. Alright. Let's see if we can find Daisy May. We have... <laughs> three minutes. Okay. Oh, nice! We got lucky! Awesome! She's right here in the front. Oh, I love that. Lazy day for us until we go see our friends tonight. We already walked the dogs and they're asleep in sunbeams. I love that for them. Kimber likes to sleep in the sun as well. She also likes to kind of like cozy up next to the fireplace in the winter. It's so cute. Are you guys doing games tonight with them, I suppose? That's what I'm assuming. Hi, 
Hi, Vivian. <laughs> Eldritch Horror. Good. I hope that's so fun. I love that game. I know it's Clark's favorite. <laughs> Definitely in the top few, at least. Let's just go... Hmm... Let's see if we can fit these in our pockets. I know! Daisy May's headpiece is amazing! Looks like we have a diary over there somebody dropped. Let's go get that. Oh, hold on. Let's drop this. And then we'll go get the journal. I might buy more. Probably not, though. Actually, now that I think about it, because I'm going to want to save some money for making bridges and stuff. So cute. Good morning, Stephanie. Oh, you missed your turnips. I know that's why I hopped on a few minutes early because I was like. I have to get turnips today. I'm so sorry you missed it. But yeah, she'll be back next week. I hope you're doing well today. Good to see you. Oh, vaulting queen. <laughs> Aw. So Wolfgang should be here today, Ray. We can go check. I think he'd probably be um, unpacking. Okay, I want to see if this gives us any clue. It's an autograph book, but it's covered with all kinds of sparkly stickers. That sounds fun. Okay, so who would have sparkly stickers? I'm thinking it could be Apple, Piper, Renee. Oh, it could be Marina. Okay, but it's an autograph book. So, I mean, honestly, I'm thinking it might be Apple or Piper because they're always talking about wanting to be pop stars. What do you think? Does anyone have any idea whose this might be? Ray, you think it's Marina's? All the sparkly stickers? It could be.
Uh, it could be Apple, Marina, or Piper, I think. Could also be, I mean, it could be a lot of different. Hmm. Let's just ask Marina and then we'll see what she says. I have a feeling it's probably Apple or Piper though. Okay, so it is apples. Let's take it to Apple. I guess we could start um, talking to all the villagers now, actually. I'm going to check the mail and then I'm going to talk to the villagers. Hmm. You're not bad at things, right? I feel like we have several villagers that have the same personality type. So it really could have been any of them. Oh, Bo, you're so silly. Did you guys catch Bo's joke? <laughs> it's time for a riddle. What did the cake say while cutting an onion? I'm in tears. <laughs> That's cute. And we have gyroids. Let's dig these up real quick. I'm curious what. Aluminoid. Okay, I'm curious what other kinds we have. Springoid, cute. I think that's the one that looks kind of like a pig, right? Okay, swap boy. Let's see. Let's see what these guys do. Oh, kind of looks like the uh, blobfish in Disney Dreamlight Valley. Oh, okay. That's not the one that I thought it was. Which one is the pig? Is it called like an? Oinkoid or something like that? I don't know, but... Aw, they're so cute. Okay. Let's put our mail away and then we'll talk to the rest of the villagers. Comfy cozy. Oh my goodness. If the flannel fits. <laughs> oh. That's funny. Let's see if Renee is home. I think I saw her up by the plaza, though. Okay. So I'm also doing something on stream kind of new and exciting on Tuesday. It is a great day, Piper. So I'm going to be doing um, like a journal project on Tuesday if anyone's interested. <laughs> oh, hold on. Let me. 
catch up with chat here. Ooh, birthday dinner! Is he um, gonna choose where you go or do you guys already have that planned out? That's exciting. I hope you guys have so much fun. And I hope the food is good. Um, so Tuesday, uh, it's actually the Stardew Valley update day. Um, but unfortunately, I'm not gonna have time to stream that and my spring equinox, like crafter noon situation. Um, but we will be doing Stardew Valley sometime soon. Um, hopefully this week at some point. Um, but Tuesday, I'll be doing a crafter noon and I'm gonna be making like a little flowers out of paper and yarn and I don't know, whatever else I can find. Um, and I'm gonna be just like decorating my journal with all these little flowers and then we're going to be giving them glimmers. <laughs> Aw, thank you for the reaction, Renee. Oh, I have not even decorated my house at all, Renee. <laughs> okay, so glimmers um, are essentially like little moments of healing for people that have been through uh, trauma. And the cool thing about glimmers, though, is like you don't have to be healing from trauma in order to benefit from them. Um, so if anyone wants to come on Tuesday, I'm going to be creating a little journal page to celebrate some glimmers that I have in my life and um, to sort of manifest some glimmers that I want to add more of into my life. Um, so you're more than welcome to join me with that. Uh, no experience necessary. All you really need is like a pen and paper. Um, you don't have to do a fancy art project if you don't want to. Um, it could just be a kind of journaling prompt. Um, so yeah, I think that's going to be so much fun. I know, she's so good at holding that sandwich. Oh, Pecan's cooking something. Ooh, pumpkin soup, that sounds good. Aw, thank you. Okay, let's see if we can learn how to make this. Nope, I already know it. That's okay. If anybody wants pumpkin soup, Pecan's making it. And I have an extra. Oh, shout out for Kate on Honeycomb. Thanks for the outfit. Pecan likes it. I love that. I also really like the music in Pecan's house. Yeah, so there's actually, let me actually find. Um, oh, wait, I have it on the phone now. We don't have to go to Able Sisters. Let me find the code in case anybody wants. these outfits there are actually quite a few that are sort of in this collection and it's so cute I'm hoping I saved it I'm pretty sure I did here we go so this is Kate on honeycomb and I'll show you a few more designs in case anybody wants to get some of these. So many options to choose from, honestly. This is cute too. There's like a lemon dress.
and let me find oh i love these ice cream trucks too these are so much fun so they're for the um the standees you can customize them with this design and you just need two standees and then you have ice cream truck so cute okay so let me find i love this carrot dress too i actually have this as well so yeah kate made a carrot dress and then there is a collection of these springtime dresses here we go so here's one it's got snowdrop flowers in the pocket so cute And then this one is cute too. I love this. The colors are just divine. Oh, it's so pretty. And this is the one that I'm wearing now. Got a little cardigan. It looks kind of lacy almost. It's so cute. And then I think... Okay, yeah, there's more up here. If you want to wear it, maybe towards nighttime when it's a little colder. This one's adorable. That looks really comfy cozy. I know they're so creative in this game. Honestly, like these are amazing. I think this one is so cute too. And then it looks like this one is also in the same collection. Oh, I love the little bow. Such a great job. So yeah, here's Kate um, of Honeycomb, some of their designs. I hope you enjoy them if you're interested. The creator code's right down there in the bottom left. MA9290-8329-0409. And I'll drop that in the chat, too. All right. Yeah, so there is a, um, I did recently add a Discord channel um, underneath the Animal Crossing Let's Play category um, for custom codes. So yeah, I can start adding some custom codes in there and then feel free to like add more if there's some that you want to share with the community. That way we can kind of have another little resource. Pinterest is also a really good place to go for custom codes. I find a lot of really nice codes on there. Ooh, minstroni, yum. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, that's one of the worst things is when you lose your codes. <clears throat> and then you can't really find them again. It takes a long time to gather them back up. Oh my goodness, that's funny, Wolfgang. Oh, I love how he calls his home a her. That's so cute. I love when people do that. When they have, like, their their favorite items and, like, just things that they like. They give them names and genders, and it's just so cute. 
Oh, it looks like Bo is home as well. Let's say hi to Bo. <laughs> That's funny. He kind of is, Aaron. That's a good way to look at it. Aww. They were cleaning house. <laughs> Oh my goodness. He moved on from that cleaning topic to food very quickly, didn't he? I love you, Bo. That's so fun. Yeah, he is a grumpy villager. Wolfgang is. <laughs> Okay, we still have to find Apple. Looks like Coco's home. <laughs> oh, that is so cute. Harvey does kind of look like Aaron. Also, hi, Clark. Good to see you. I hope you're having a good day. Sounds like you both are so far. Ooh, spice chai, cocoa. That sounds delicious. And a good book. Hmm, all you need is a thunderstorm. Oh, good. There's Apple. Thank you. Yes, Harvey's the doctor. Yeah. Ooh, what am I getting? Thank you. A cycling shirt. I don't want to change my outfit right now. Ooh, I actually like the colors on that. It's not bad. I like this dress too. That one's really pretty. Ooh, maybe I'll wear this today. That's fun. I still have so many spots left for clothes and I have so many outfits already. I think I'm gonna wear this one today. Hmm. Oh yeah, we can start a new farm when, Stardew, when the Stardew update drops because I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a new farm layout. Jerry's house is so cute. Aww. Oh, I love how supportive Sherry is. That's so sweet. Trying to make Wolfgang feel welcome. Okay, let's see here. I think I'm going to donate this. I think I can sell pretty much everything else. I think I'm going to save these clams for crafting. Okay. Who else do we need to speak with? Did we talk to Vivian? I think I already talked to Vivian. At least I saw her walking around. I don't know if I spoke with her yet.
I'm gonna put these guys away as well. I think I'm gonna work on the channel points this week too, so that we can have some more fun stuff there. I haven't had a chance lately because it's been, you know, a pretty busy week between like some medical stuff I had to take care of and then, um, work. But this week I have time to work on streaming stuff some more, so I'm gonna try to get some some more channel point redeems going so that we can have more fun with those. And I'm open to feedback. If anyone has anything you'd like to see for next Sunday's stream, let me know. And I'll try to get that done within the next week or so. Ooh, we have a blue hyacinth. That's exciting. For newer Animal Crossing players. So um, the blue hyacinth happens um, when two of the white flowers breed and make a hybrid. So it's not something that you can buy. So it's it's pretty exciting when you see them pop up. We are not auctioning off Kimber with channel points. No, 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 no. <laughs> Angry budgie. <laughs> oh my goodness. I haven't worked on my terraforming or anything really because um, I've honestly I've been playing Dreamlight Valley a lot lately. Um, but I did finish my Star Path. No, actually I didn't. So I finished it um, except for like two items, which I'm going to finish today. But I did get all the items that I wanted. So all I have left are like some Moonstone prizes. What is your sweet angel up to today? Oh, she's napping. She's napping on the sofa. And it should be warm enough to where we can go outside too. I want to take her for a walk after stream. Um, but we didn't go this morning, so I had way too much going on. Okay, what else? Do I want to get the kitty condo? It's cute. I don't think so, though. Let's see what's in here. Actually, Stephanie, do you want the kitty condo? I'm going to buy it just in case she wants it. You do? Okay. All right. <laughs> Yeah, and if anyone else sees anything that they want to buy, um, I'll open my island. You can come over. Oh, does she want to go outside? Yeah. Okay, let's see. I wonder how many more villagers I have to talk to. I think just Vivian, right? Yeah, so we do need to talk to Vivian, I think. Yep, okay, so we should be at 28 today. Oh, there's Vivian. I think she's the last one. Hi, Piper. Aww. <laughs> Oh, 
what are you making, Piper? <laughs> Piper, that is a lie, though. It's been done. I'm not going to be mean to her, though, because she thinks she's got an original idea, so... I'm just going to let her have her moment in the sun. She deserves it. Even angels have to poop. <laughs> ah, yes, they do. She is a sweet angel. I love the Kimber puppies. These buttons are so touchy. Is it P-I-P-P-I-N or P-I-P-P-E-N? I don't want to spell it wrong. Ah, okay. Thank you. I kind of thought it looked weird. <laughs> That's possible. I mean, who knows? Pippin might still be offended, even though I spelled it right. He might be offended that he's getting a cat tower instead of a shopping bag. That's funny. <laughs> okay, did we talk to everybody now? I think so. Yay, okay. Does anybody want to come over for group stretching?
I'm gonna do something crazy. I'm gonna open a dodo code. In case anybody's online and wants to come for group stretching, everyone is gonna be welcome. Not just my Animal Crossing friends. <laughs> <laughs> we could try putting a shopping bag on the cat tower. Aaron, that's genius. We'll just do that. It's fine. <laughs> the best of both worlds. Ah, Ray, do you want to come over for group stretching? <laughs> You might be the only one. We'll see. We'll give it like 10 minutes. All right, here we go. Come get your Nook Mile tickets or your Nook Mile rewards for group stretching. So our Dodo code for group stretching is, I'm going to put it in the chat as well, but we've got 88VS0. And we're going to start group stretching. Uh, so it's 1236. Let's start at 1245. That way we have, um, if anybody else wants to join, they have a little bit of time to log on and whatnot. And if you need more time... Pop it in the chat so I know to wait for you. Yeah, about to work out, work up a sweat. Ooh, uh, I wonder if we should get some workout outfits on. Let's see if I have anything. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure somebody has made a custom code for that, Ray. We'll have to try to keep an eye out for you. I'll let you know if I come across one. Your Link outfit is really nice, though. And I love that you got the sword. It looks so good. Yeah, the sword is so nice. I was so excited when you found that. Okay, I'm going to see if I can change my outfit before we start stretching. <laughs> what does omnivorous grandpa mean? <laughs> That's the question. It's his, um, so you get, oh, Stephanie's coming over. At least I'm assuming it's Stephanie. Could be a surprise. We don't know. Yeah, it sounded funny. So you you randomly, like every time you get like Nookma rewards and stuff, you get like different words that you can like, okay, it's Stephanie. You get, um, different words you can just kind of mix and match to make like a little 
um, like nickname sort of thing on your passport. And uh, Stephanie looks like it's Deserted Island Relocator. I'm assuming you haven't changed it yet. I think that's like the standard one. But yeah, you can definitely edit that if you wanted to. I think mine is, um, right now I have it as Sunkissed Wanderer. Sky would be proud. Because I think Sky calls uh, people um, in the Discord Wanderers. Which is which is adorable because labyrinth. Oh, something website designer. That's a good one. Okay, I'm gonna change my outfit really quick, and then we'll do group stretching. I have this. This could count as a workout outfit. Um, I have that. Let's see what else looks like exercise clothes. Um, I might want to wear the green one. And we're going to need some shoes. We've got some sneakers. Um, I think I'm going to go with the sneakers. And then we'll need some socks. Okay, let's try this. Putting my sneakers on before my socks. Video game magic. Okay, we're ready. You brought your lightsaber? That's so much fun. <laughs> oh, you're waiting for me. You guys are so cute. <laughs> oh, I love your guys' outfits. They're so fun. All right, I'm going to go start group stretching. Um, well, we got a few minutes. Should we wait and see if anyone else comes? I don't think they will, but... Do you want to check out shops or anything? Okay, it looks like everyone's ready to stretch. What do you think? Should we go? If nobody says anything in the chat, we might start a few minutes early. You're just here to look adorable. I love that lightsaber. That is so much fun. All right, let's just go. I don't think anyone else is coming. I'm so glad you guys are here. This is so much fun. It's so much more fun with friends. Ooh, and we've got Cap'n, Coco. So cute. Isabel's here. Apple and Mabel. Nope, Sable, actually. Sable's here. Oh, it's so cute. We got a dodo bird. I love this. This is so much fun.
The music's kind of relaxing. I love Isabel's outfit. The facial expressions, though. <laughs> ah, it's so cute. We all look so serious sometimes. Almost like panicked. <laughs> Aww. Jack, it's my favorite part. It's so fun. Yay, we did it. We pushed buttons. <laughs> If you guys want, you are more than welcome to like check out the stores before you head out. Go ahead and grab those recipes at the airport if you need them. Whatever you want. There's not a ton to do on the island yet because I barely started decorating, but feel free to like check stuff out. There's also some bells here, Stephanie. Feel free to take them. There's a couple trees here with, uh, they should have 30k. Um, and there's one here as well. Feel free to take those if you want them. I know you're kind of restarting a lot. I think I might just wear a custom coat again. I really like wearing the custom coats. That's funny, right? I mean, it could be. Oh, 
Oh, good. Someone found recipes. I'm so glad that they were able to learn them. Okay, awesome. shopping I hope you found something good these shorts are kind of cute is this a sushi outfit I love this oh my goodness trying to buy a helmet. Did you get it? Did it work? Do you need more money? If you don't have enough money right now, I can buy it and like mail it to you. <clears throat> Ooh, a princess dress and some shamrock shoes. That sounds fun. I love that. Ray, did you get your helmet? I assume this one. If you still need it, let me know and I'll either I can give you some money or I can send it to you, whatever. Oh my goodness, you're stealing my peaches. That's fine. <laughs> whatever you guys want, except for the turnips. Don't take my turnips. Everything else is fair game though. Anything that's diggable or pluckable or pickable, take it. wants this blue hyacinth feel free as well um i love it but i'm probably not going to use it i think i'm going to go for purple hello piper i'm just going to run along and see if i can find more seashells terraform a bit today at some point but if not I mean I don't know if I can't really decide um, on a place to start terraforming today I might just switch over to Dreamlight Valley too try to finish up my star path and whatnot I don't think I can do museum stuff when I have company, right? I'll wait on that. Dreamlight sounds nice. Yeah, I'm thinking so too. Let's, uh, maybe I'll do like my entrance or resident services or something though. And then maybe I'll switch over to Dreamlight. I don't know. I feel like both are fun. <laughs> Such a good problem to have. I love that net, Stephanie. That's so cute. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, there's not a ton to do on the island right now. I'm really sorry. It's still very much a work in progress. Not much to see here. <laughs> okay, I think that is it for my seashells at the for the moment. I'm gonna put these. Oh, you goodness, you guys, really okay. That's fine. That's fine. Just wait till I'm done with my pockets. Such cowards hitting me with the net when I'm busy with my pockets. I have a flimsy net. Ah! 
Oh, I missed. Oh, you did get your helmet. It looks good. <laughs> this is so fun. Oh, no. No. <laughs> I missed. Look how cute you are with that helmet, though. Oh, that's dangerous. <laughs> Olivia just looks at me and walked away. Oh, you have a nice sitting reaction. Okay. I don't think I have that one yet. Aw, so cute. I love your hat. Love that outfit. <laughs> Ooh, a butterfly. These are pretty. Ray, you're missing. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew Amber's Island was so scary? I know! It's because you're visiting. I love this thing. I usually wear it with, uh... Where is my spring dress? Oh, here we go. Or my, um... I like this one. <laughs> All right, you're very welcome. Thanks for visiting. You're gonna go home and tend to your wounds. Oh, you're the one that brought the axe out, silly. But yeah, I think my net got you in the eyeball. I'm so sorry. It was an accident. Oh, you know what I just realized? I don't have my, um, my ears on today. Let me see if I can uh, grab those. Hold up, y'all. Hold up. Bye, Ray. Bye, Stephanie. Thank you so much for visiting. And stretching with me. Group stretching is always so much more fun with friends. Mm. You won. How do you win group stretching? Well, we all win. <laughs> all right. So I guess the question is, do we want to terraform or switch to another game? There is no wrong answer. Oh, Renee's got her little smoothie there. That's so cute. I assume it's a cherry smoothie because cherries are native fruit. So Ray's voting for Dreamlight. Okay. Any other suggestions? So here's what I'm thinking. 
this is what sounds fun for me today. Um, oh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Oh, no. I hope stream isn't messing up. I'm sorry. I'm having a little bit of a tech issue, but we're good, I think. I clicked something wrong in OBS, and I don't know if it affected the stream or not. So I apologize if it got weird for a second. Okay. So what I'm thinking... Um, hold on. I wonder... If I can create, like, a poll. I know how to do it in Discord. I don't think we even have enough viewers right now to, like, we can just not do a poll. We'll just do it in chat. It's no big deal. But I will figure out how to do polls for the future so that it's easier. Um, but here's some options I'm thinking. Let me know if anyone has any preferences. So I want to terraform either the island entrance, like the airport. Or I want to terraform... Uh, resident services or we can play Dreamlight Valley um, and then to make it easier I'll see if I can like Okay, so Ray votes Dreamlight unless there's an idea for terraforming. Uh, Stephanie's open to anything, but she likes watch terraforming. Okay. Ray, you think the airport would be nice? Okay, I think that would be kind of fun too. Okay, Aaron says Dreamlight Valley. Oh, I want to do all of the things. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I want to do all of it. I want to do it all. Everything sounds like so much fun. Why don't we do this? How about we switch to Dreamlight Valley? And then... Uh, if we have time, we can terraform later, too. Um, but the only reason I, I'm saying that is because Dreamlight Valley is actually time-sensitive. Terraforming is not. Um, like, the star path ends in, like, a month. I have plenty of time, but it's still time-sensitive, so I'm like, maybe I should just do that. All right. So let's save Animal Crossing for now. And then, uh... Maybe we'll come back later. But let's go see what's going on in Disney. It is nice to have options, you know? Okay. So I think I actually have to switch my... You're letting Audie move out? Oh my goodness! I need to get an open pot. <laughs> Unless somebody else wants Audie. Somebody else might want her. She's so sweet. So much fun. So much energy. Okay, so I'm going to change some stream info real quick while this is loading up. So I'm going to switch our... Um, switch our category over to Disney Dreamlight Valley. And okay. 
All right, so I'm going to switch some tags around real quick as well. I'm going to take the Animal Crossing off and add Dreamlight Valley. Yeah, I know I can't time travel. There once was a dream world in yeah. which familiar friends, from the most heroic to the most villainous, lived together in harmony. However, as time passed, the forgetting set in, and the world fell into darkness until you arrived. You have the power to make it special again. With your help, this dream world can grow back into something magical. This is a place where you'll have no worries. Where you'll wish time <laughs> Simone and Pumba. get frozen. Where you can find a friend in everyone. And feed your passions. A place where you can find yourself at home. This is a place where every day is a dream come true. This is Dreamlight Valley. I need to do some decorating in the valley. It's been, uh, it's a little sparse at the moment, too. So we'll probably have time to do some decorating later, too. But I do want to get the star path done first. But like I said, I only have, like, a couple tasks left for it, so it should only take a few minutes. I know the music is so good. I do have it on streamer friendly mode. Um, so some of the copyright music um, will be different because they replace it with other music. Um, so it might sound a little different than your game. Just so that like it's, um, you know, st streamer safe and VOD safe and all that. Um, but it's still really good music. <laughs> You're just here for cozy games. I know it's so much fun. It's just so fun to like explore these new things that we wouldn't be able to do in real life, you know? That's probably why a lot of my games are like magical. Cause I do want an aspect of like fantasy, you know? Um, I don't know what I'm wearing, but I'm here for it. Okay, let's see what we've got today. I think I have to give gifts to Fairy Godmother. Um, okay, so Fairy Godmother needs gifts. And then, okay, so I just have to chat with Mike. <clears throat> let's see what Fairy Godmother wants today. Okay, so blue star lily, purple impatience, and sweet herring. Easy enough, easy enough.
I still need to get Mike and Sully leveled up. Yeah, I think a lot of people do. You know, it's been... A lot of people, I think, have been, like, prioritizing the star path and stuff, so... It's understandable. You know, the Mike and Sully stuff isn't time-sensitive. You can really do that whenever you feel like it. I haven't finished either. I do like the storyline so far. I've gotten quite a bit of, um... Got quite a few of Mike's quests done, and they're so funny, actually. That's not what just happened, but okay. I feel like sometimes my little, um, like, dreamlight duties and mist duties get a little weird. They don't quite match up with what's actually happening. You like my wings? Thank you! They're the Maleficent wings! They do take up a lot of space, but I do love them. And then I have this um, Orchid Sunbird as my companion today. And my Forgotten Crown, which is so cute. And I believe this dress is um, from the Frozen collection. And I'm barefoot, because <laughs> I like going barefoot. It's fun. And then did she want, was it a, a marshmallow weed? Blue star lily. So yeah, with the most recent update, they made it so you can actually leave your house from any floor now, which is amazing. You don't have to take the elevator all the way down to the ground floor to go outside anymore. Okay, so we need to find Mike and Fairy Godmother. Let's see. Mike is down here. Oh, and Fairy Godmother is at the restaurant, so they're actually really close together. Easy peasy. Oh, you know what we should do? I should do some time bending because I haven't done that. She sells sea smells by the seashore. She oh, sells sea smells by the seashore. Okay. You know, I actually want to um, move a little bit so that he's not like behind a tree. Okay. That's better. Oh, no, it's not. Now his back is to us. Hold on, hold on. All right. This is better. Now I can see you. You might. Ah. Yeah. Mm. Favorite kind of food? Hmm. Well, this is definitely not true. I think about food all the time. Let's go with fancy food. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Has anyone seen my contact lens? How about out? Uh, you were great. And, uh, well, uh, tell your friends and your enemies. <laughs> There's Anna. Perfect day for a picnic.
Hello, child. I love speaking with Fairy Godmother. She's so sweet. No, I love this game too. It's so good. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm actually really excited because um, now that I have my like PC, I'm still streaming on the laptop right now. Um, just because I haven't like had a lot of time to switch everything over, but I do have a PC now. Um, so I'm going to like set up um, a paleo stream as soon as I can. I'm hoping within the next few weeks I can get all, get all that set up. Because I love Paleo too. It's so much fun. And it's free. I cannot believe Paleo is free. Such a good game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. You've been so helpful. Aww. Okay, Star Path is complete. That's exciting. Okay. And we still have 30 days left. Okay, so let's see. Here's all the rewards we've gotten so far. And I think all that's left to collect at this point are the moonstones. I'd love to see it. Okay. And then I also did my green snaps. Um... So the theme this week was a theme park, and I actually didn't have the game yet when um, when they did all the theme park items, so I don't have a ton. Um, but I did the best I could with what I had, and I, yeah, so I did kind of like a Vanellope theme. I thought this was so cute. Um, Ray did a whole bunch of Vanellope, um, he almost made like an arcade boardwalk, it's really, really cool. Um, um, I went with more of like a, a natural theme, um, but I think it's so f fun that we both um, were inspired by Vanellope um, because we just didn't have like the Disney park decorations, so we had to do the best we could with what we had. The castle, yeah. The castle in the background, it looks good. The, I did the balloons and then some lollipops. And um, the outfit's cute. Pretty simple, but it was fun. Um, and then this was last week's. Okay, so that's it. That's it for the quests. I'm pretty sure there's nothing else I can do um, for the Star Path events. Or Dream Snaps right now. But we do have some quests we could work on. For Mike and Sully. So I guess my biggest concern with doing the Mike and Sully quests, um, I don't want to spoil it for anybody that hasn't done them yet. So what are your thoughts? Mostly Ray. Um, will it... Was this okay to do on stream or would you rather enjoy it on your own time? You know, you can always tune in and out, but I know that's kind of hard to do. Okay. We'll just do it then. I wonder if there's a way... <clears throat> um, I'm going to put in the title. Um, Monsters, Inc. Quest Spoilers. Just in case anybody... I'll just put may contain, or it definitely will. So I'll just put Monsters, Inc. Quest Spoilers um, in the title. That way people kind of know before they hop in. 
But I don't know what else I can do to um, prevent that. Let me know if you have any ideas. I think that should be good. Okay. So, let's go hang out with Mike. And... There's Sully. Oh, Mike's right here. You're here! Yay! Of course you can, Mike. Okay, so we need to visit Scar's cave. Oh, I want to change my outfit since we're hanging out with Mike today. I think I just had this one on because I was hanging out with Elsa mining and stuff. And I didn't really feel like wearing the Ice Princess gown. So I put this one on instead. But, um... I want to change my clothes to, like, some kind of Monsters, Inc. theme now because... I don't know, it's fun. It's fun to kind of match... my clothes to whatever I'm doing at the moment. Let's see what we've got so far. Um, let's do maybe those. Ooh, we've got Sully slippers. Cute. cute. I hadn't noticed that hat yet. I think I'm gonna wear this to hang out with Mike, and then I want to wear the slippers and the overalls to hang out with Sully later. Let's put some socks on. <laughs> And then maybe I'll change my hairstyle. Let's see. Oh my goodness. That's actually cute. We might go with this, with the hard helmet. That's cute. The Vanellope hair. <laughs> I 
I like this one. Okay. Let's go see what's going on in Scar's cave. I'm a little nervous. Some of the stuff that Mike has had me do so far has been kind of gross. I am not sure what we're going to find in here. Hi, Chris. Good to see you. Spoilers are pretty much a given when watching story-based game streams. Mentioning it in the title is above and beyond. That's good to know. Check out the Scrooge story. I haven't done that. You agree with Chris? Yeah, I think he does have a good point. I'm so glad, Chris, that you're here because honestly, I mean, first of all, you're my friend and I just like being around you. But it's also so nice because I'm not like up to date with a lot of Twitch stuff. You know, I'm new to the Twitch community in general. So it's nice to, um, you know, have someone around who's like, you know, been on Twitch for a long time and kind of knows the, um, you know, the etiquette and just sort of general, um, you know, community. Any way I can. Trust me. I'm curious, like, what Mike wants me to find. Collect ingredients for Mike's recipe. The royal hairball. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh my. Okay, we're cooking a hairball dish of some sort. <laughs> oh, you guys, I know. You're funny. Okay. Oh, that's disgusting. A gourmet rat dog. Hey. Ew. That looks appetizing. Do you hear... A fly? Do you guys hear the fly buzzing? My neighbors are great. Nice detail. <laughs> okay, show the gourmet rat dog to Remy. Ooh, Remy's right here. Nope, that's not what I wanted. I don't want to cook. I want to show Remy my rat dog. Remy, I can't talk to you. Okay, there we go. Hello. Oh no, poor Remy. Huh. I feel bad about this. I'm sorry. Oh, what a perfect day. I'm so sorry, Remy. Uh... <laughs> Amber, I'm sorry, but this tastes like garbage. I just, I'm just imagining Clark like, yeah, trash garbage. Clark's back there. Watching stream like, yeah. Absolute trash garbage. Oh, harsh. Uh huh. You still haven't seen Ratatouille? Aw, I think I've seen bits and pieces, but I really don't think I've seen the whole thing through either. We should watch it soon. 
Oh, wait, we don't have Disney Plus at the moment. Oh, well. Maybe someday. Maybe someday. We will spend money on Disney things again. We can only hope. <laughs> hmm. Aw. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, hello, Max. Happy birthday. Like, we work well as a team. Uh -huh. hmm. oh. You're very welcome. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm curious at what he's looking forward to the most for his birthday celebrations and stuff. Mike, I'm sorry. Let's go find Sully. <laughs> there he is. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Ooh. Hmm. Uh -huh. <laughs> Aww. That was wholesome. Okay. Let's catch up with chat here. I know, the noises they make are hilarious. They did a really good job on most of these characters. Max went to top golf. Oh good, Cracker Barrel's always so good. I remember as a kid when I learned they had those rock candies, I was so excited to go every time. They're not even good, honestly, but like it's just fun to eat. <laughs> it's just pure sugar though, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, you have Ratatouille and Blu-ray? Movie night, and we can make spaghetti for dinner. Or like a minstroni or something. It'd be fun. We can do like a ratatouille night. <clears throat> Sorry, I have like... I think I have dry skin on my hand because it itches. I'm going to go grab some lotion real quick. And see if I can get this to feel a little bit better. Okay, give me a second, guys. I will be right back. Just like a minute or two. to meet everyone.
Okay. That's hilarious. Yeah, we could do a double date, like a Ratatouille or even a triple date. Maybe Clark and Aaron want to come. We could do like a Ratatouille um, dinner date and movie night at your guys' house. <laughs> that could be nice. This lotion smells so good. I know it's spring, but I'm still using my pumpkin stuff. I've had it since fall and I just haven't finished it yet. Oh, and it smells so good. That sounds like so much fun though. I would honestly like, if that's a serious offer, like, I'm 100% serious. Like, I would love to do a Ratatouille date night. So much fun. Hmm. Now that I've had some time to think, I know exactly what I've got to do. Aww. I love how Mike's hand is in his pocket. That's such a good touch. They did great with some of these character designs, honestly. <sighs> oh, that could work too if we didn't want to cook. Yeah, we could go to that Italian restaurant by your house. Um, that, w that place was really good. I really liked it. Balto's or... I can't remember what it's called. Baldo's? I don't remember. It was so good though. Hearts and hype. Hearts and hype for uh, good food. Yep. We got that. <laughs> Let's get some hearts and hype in the chat for spaghetti. <laughs> huh. Oh, Aww, my. So strange. Hmm. I can tell we're gonna be very good friends. Mm. Oh, 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 oh. My taste is questionable. <laughs> oh, I love this. Thanks. You've been a great assistant. Surrounded by fools. Oh no. Yes, 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 yes! Ooh! Hmm. Uh-huh. Hmm. What's your idea, Mike? Uh-huh. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Oh. All right! Oh! <laughs> oh yes! Oh yes, 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 yes! Yeah! Ah! Ooh! Hmm! All right! Oh! <laughs> A comedy club? That sounds fun. Where they are. Ooh. Oh. Hmm. Aw, thank you, Max. You're so cute. <laughs> That's so nice. Oh, yes! <laughs> Penelope would definitely be a great comedian. I love her so much. All right. Yay. 
Oh, yes, 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 yes! That is actually very true. I was thinking the same thing. That's funny. I love that. I almost imagine Fairy Godmother having sort of like a British sense of humor. I'm curious what the storyline is going to reveal. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> okay, listen. Don't take on too much. We're here for you. Uh-huh. Oh. Huh. <laughs> All right. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hi, Wally. Those night don't do the work, am I right? Oh, I don't think you're too behind to start Dreamlight Valley if you really wanted to. The only downside is, um, because you can do everything at your own pace, so it doesn't really matter. Um, the only downside are the Star Path items. Like, those are limited time only. Um, but if you're if you're interested in starting the game, I would, I would recommend starting sooner rather than later, just in case you do want to, you know, that we don't miss, on as, miss out on as many Star Path items. But yeah, Princess Peach is going to be so much fun. Oh, I'm so excited for you. I know you're a really big fan of Mario games. That's going to be great. A lot of people are really looking forward to that one coming out. Yeah, let us know how the Peach game is. I'm curious about it, too. I was thinking about... about trying it. I don't want to force anyone. If Wally doesn't want to participate, he shouldn't have to. Ah, ah. Now I'm curious what the other option would have had for storyline. Is it too late? Oh. Yeah. Oh well. That's okay. Okay, so let's see if we can find the other characters. So Vanellope's really close. Where's Fairy Godmother? Sorry, I'm going to try to scan the map slowly. I don't know if it's going to make you guys dizzy. Okay, Fairy Godmother's up in the Forgotten Lands. <laughs> you are funny, Penelope. Just who I was hoping to see.
Oh. She called him Michael. That's funny. Oh, that's not right. <laughs> this valley is so friendly, like a warm Oh. Oh, that's a bummer. No, that's funny. Yeah, right. Whenever someone uses my full name, I assume I'm in trouble. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 yes. Fairy godmother's just oh, so yes. sweet and quite formal. Stephanie. So excited for this. Oh, yes. see him. Oh, there he is. Get to show on the road. Oh no. I don't I want to be able to see more of his face. Aww. 
Uh oh. <laughs> That's true. Oh no. Ooh. <laughs> Until next time. Interesting, okay. Who is your favorite character in the game, Amber? Mm, that's a good question. I like a lot of the characters. I feel like... I feel like it depends on the context, right? Like, in what way? Because I feel like there's definitely some characters I like um, more... Like, I like watching the movie. Um, but then there's some that I like interacting with in the game. So I guess it, it just kind of depends on the context. Um, I would say one of my favorite movies would be the Rapunzel one. Um, but some of my favorite characters um, to like hang out with and talk to and interact with in the game. Um, I would say Stitch definitely is um, in my top few. Um... I really like Fairy Godmother because she just makes me feel cozy and happy. Um, but Stitch is really fun. And I'd say maybe, I'm gonna try to pick maybe top three. So let's go with Stitch, Fairy Godmother. Hmm. I take that back. I don't know if I want to put Fairy Godmother in my top three. I'm going to have to think about this. Olaf, too. Olaf is so sweet. Did you know books are the windows to the world? I wonder what the doors are. Probably doors. <laughs> and Olaf's kind of funny, too. <laughs> Mulan is not in the game yet, but I hope soon. There's a lot of characters we're still waiting for, like Pocahontas. Okay, so we need laugh canisters, a whoopee cushion, and a rubber chicken. And I could fast travel, but I'm just going to walk through to the Dream Castle because it's not that far. Yeah, Mirabelle is in here. Mirabelle's really fun, too. She sings a lot, and she has really, really pretty butterflies. Um that sort of, like, fly around her a lot. I don't know. Stitch really makes me happy. I like hanging out with Stitch. He's so cute. Ray likes Olaf, Simba, and Skellington. Oh, those are good choices. Yeah, I'm curious. Let's see. Um, oh, I can't use my... Oh, yes, I can. Okay. Let's see. Let's see all the characters we have. So we have Belle and Beast. I normally really like Belle, but... I don't know. I feel like 
her personality in the game has, um, they could have improved it. Fairy Godmother is so sweet to hang out with. She's just so nice. Mirabelle, lots of energy. I do like the Frozen cast. Stitch is definitely in my top three. I do like hanging out with the Mickey cast as well. The Mickey and Friends. Moana and Maui. Mike and Sully. Got Remy. Definitely not her. I do not like Mother Gothel. She annoys me. I do like hanging out with Nala. And honestly, Scar is hilarious. So they might be the Lion King. Not really Simba. He, I feel like they could have done better with his personality too. But I really like the dialogue with Nala and Scar. Like they're fr they're really funny. And then we've got I like Ursula too. To be honest, like she's grown on me. Prince Eric is really boring. He does not have a personality. In this game, Merlin's pretty funny. Jack Skellington, Buzz and Woody. Wally's so cute too. Vanellope. Okay. So Vanellope and Stitch are definitely in my top two. Or top three. So I would say Vanellope and Stitch. And probably... Honestly, probably Scar. Because, like, he's so funny. Let's see if there are any others in Eternity Isle. That we missed. Definitely not Gaston, Rapunzel, Eve. I like Eve too. Okay, so for top three, I'm gonna say Stitch, Vanellope, and either Nala or Scar. Scar. It's gotta be Scar. I know he's like a villain, but he's so funny in this game. He reminds me a little bit of Wolfgang and a little bit of my husband. With, like, the sense of humor, and I love it. <laughs> like, slightly grumpy, but still adorable and kind. I don't know. Like, I feel like Scar is much kinder in Dreamlight Valley than he is in the movie. Oh, yeah, least favorites, definitely Mother Gothel and Eric, for sure. And Gaston would be my third least favorite. <laughs> yep. Okay. So we need laugh canisters, 10 of them, a whoopee cushion, and a rubber chicken. Let's check the laugh floor first, and then we'll go in the office if we need to, like... Let's see. Laugh canisters. So it looks like we can't get them off the pallets. Wait a second. Okay, so here's three of them. Okay, we're halfway there. Okay, that was not hard at all. Um, okay, rubber chicken and whoopee cushion. Let's see if we can go in any of these storage cabinets. cushion might be on a chair somewhere. Let's see. Let's just double check all these spots before I go into the office part. Thank you. 
I know it's not on a chair, but it is where Roz sits, so that is funny. Okay, bring the items to Vanellope. Is she going towards the well? Sometimes I get nervous that they're going to fast travel. Like... As I'm on my way to them, so they'll end up in a completely different biome. Hey there, pal! Come here! <laughs> I love Vanellope, she is so cute. <laughs> that dance. A prop comic? That's funny. It could work. Yeah. Ha -ha. Ha -ha. Ha -ha. Aww. I love her confidence. It's pretty great how nice you are to everyone. <gasps> Woo! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Penelope just called Mike an oversized sour ball. I don't know, it's just so funny to me. Oh my goodness. I don't know, I love that. It's better than what I call him because I think he looks like a big booger. I think sour ball is much, um, much more wholesome. Yeah. That's hilarious. Oh my goodness. Oh, the shade. Oh, I don't have a lot of iron. I'll have to go mining. Probably. <laughs> Max said his favorite characters from Disney are Mike, Mickey, Vanellope, Ralph, and Simba. Is Ralph in the game? Ralph is not in the game yet, but I think he might be eventually because Vanellope is. 
And Max, those are amazing characters for sure. Yeah, I'm curious, like, if anyone wants to share their favorite characters, I am so excited to learn about that. But no pressure either way. Okay, let's see. I'm going to need to make more iron ingots. I'm not sure how much iron we have at the moment. Yeah, I'm going to need to get more because I'm pretty sure I don't have any in my storage room either at the moment. I just made a whole bunch of uh, furniture that needed iron. So, um, let's find a mining buddy. I don't know if Penelope is mining or gardening. Rocket Ralph is so cute. I have seen that one. I do like that movie. Pretty sure Kristoff is mining. Nope, he is digging. I really appreciate it. Let's see. I usually go mining with Elsa. Trying to see if there's anyone else I have out right now that also mines. Minnie's gardening, Nala's fishing, Moana's fishing. And this is different for everyone, by the way. Like, you can choose what you want your characters to do with you. It's not like... You can also change it, too. You can give them, like, um, potion books or learning manuals or something if you want to change it. But it's not really worth it to me because there's so many characters already can usually find someone pretty quickly that can do what you need. Um, this is sort of like a weird experience. Like normally I would, I would have found someone by now. I think I need to maybe get some more mining buddies. Elsa's taking a break today. Maybe she's in the store. Hmm. Atlantis, Mulan, yeah. All good options. I really don't know if I want to use my mining training manual, but I might have to. Um, As my inner voice likes to remind me, I come make some more mining friends, because I think Elsa is either an attorney aisle or just hiding somewhere. Yeah, Ray really likes Mulan too. Okay, let's see. You know what? If we don't find someone else, we might have to hang out with Gaston for a bit. Um, I think Jack Skellington might also be mining. 
for me. Let me let me check him. Let's check Skellington. But I can't remember if I put him for mining or gardening. sure I have him down for mining. Yep, okay, let's do this. Oh, this is a huge stone here. Let's definitely mine that. I really should decorate the valley at some point. Um, It's looking pretty empty at the moment. I used to have more of the forest decorated, but then I tore it down because I wanted to redo it. And um, I just haven't had the time lately. I shouldn't say that, I've had time. I've just been, you know, prioritizing other stuff. Mickey, hello Remy. <laughs> that was kind of cute. I feel like Mickey just kind of shared that moment with me, getting that memory out of the orb. That was cute. I want to go see how many ingots I can make. I don't know how much iron I have. I don't think there's any in my storage, but there could be. is beast here i needed someone to come mining with me and i couldn't find elsa and i really don't like gaston 
I need to get more miners that I like hanging out with. We actually might have enough ingots. I need one more. So is it like three more pieces of iron? Yeah, you can switch their like professional thing or whatever it's called. Um, there is, where are they? Um, they're up here. So you can craft like these training manual things. Um, they're under like, I think they're under the potions area, but yeah, you can, you can essentially, um, craft these like training manuals. And then the only one I don't have in here is time bending. I haven't created the time bending one yet, but, um, I haven't given anyone a training manual, but yeah, this will change their role. Um, I mainly just crafted them. Not planning on using them, I just crafted them because I wanted them in the collection, but yeah, you could totally use these. Um, and yeah, I think they're just like, craft them in the same area you would craft your potions and whatnot, I think. Yeah, I don't remember how I learned about them. I think maybe there was some tutorial or something early on in the game, but yeah, I haven't really, there's not really much of a need to use them in my opinion because there's so many animals um, and characters and stuff like you're not going to run out there's so many animals this is not Animal Crossing um, but you know Stitch and stuff um, but yeah I just there's usually someone around um, okay so we need like just a few more pieces of iron. Usually I'm pretty well stocked up on materials because I just like sit here and like forage and stuff and mine for hours on end because it's fun for me. Um, but like I said, I just used so much iron to build some furniture yesterday that it took up like pretty much all that I had. So I have to replenish the iron at some point here. I think there's actually a mining node over here as well. I wonder if Elsa's like in her house. Yeah, I love the rain sound. It is pretty soothing. Oh, she is. Okay, let's hang out with Elsa. Magic can feel how special this place is. <gasps> Sorry, beast. You just take up so much room. It's hard to navigate sometimes with Beast in the smaller spots. He gets stuck and I get stuck.
I'm sorry, Elsa. I ran right into her. It's raining. Anna, you can't... I mean, I guess you could have a picnic under here in the rain. This would be fine. Oh, the sound is a little skippy. Sorry, I think it's a loading error with the game. Playing on Switch, so sometimes it's, um... You know, a little weird. Seems like it's getting better now. So excited for Aladdin to come in the game. And Jasmine, and I hope Raja. And Abu. Actually, I want to check and see what that pouch was that I just got. Okay, so it's a clothing pouch. A new hairstyle. We should have enough iron now, at least for this quest. Oh, fairy godmother. she waves with her little wand. That's so cute. Okay, yeah. So, here are the training manuals that you can make. Um... Under the potion and enchantment area. Let's see where Mike is. I'm not seeing him on first glance. There he is. So it seems like the music gets a little choppy when I'm switching into a new biome. At least that's what I'm noticing so far. Wasn't so bad that time. Yeah, a lot of my villagers are gardening too. Yeah. Mm. Woo! Oh. 
<laughs> I love this. We mean business, and that business is funny business. Huh. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, this rain and you've been a terrific audience. Ow! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Elsa. Thank you for helping me. Oops, I just ran into a tree. I'm so glad, Stitch. You deserve all the good days. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Mm. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> So I think I, I'm done with Mike's friendship quests until I get him leveled up more, I believe. Yeah. Okay, and then these ones are with the Sully quests. I don't want to work on the Sully quests just yet. Um, we're almost done with Mike's. I'm curious, like, what level he's at. Let me look and see if I can gift him some stuff to level him up a little bit faster. So he wants onion, orange glass-like flour, and a chicken dish. Chicken souvlaki? Souvlaki? We can do this. I might need to buy more meat. But I'm pretty sure I have everything else.
slowly practicing his sneaking around is funny. I know, so cute. Okay, we're using our last piece of chicken for this. That actually looks pretty good. I love cucumbers and olives too. Okay, so he's at level 7. That's not too bad. All right. Yeah, they really oh, did yes. do a good job on, <laughs> in, uh, on the food in this game. I agree. Mm. Ooh. Uh -huh. Okay, let's go get you a flower. And then you wanted an onion. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> oh no. Poor Sully. Actually, I'm just gonna go grab an onion from the garden. since they're right here. Cool. Let's see. Is there anything in the premium shop that I want to get? Uh, this is kind of cute. Oh, I like the up balloon as well. Hmm. So I only have enough moonstones to get like one thing. And I'm not sure which one. I might wait. I have two days to decide until they change the items. Hmm. This one is super cute. But I also like the up balloon as well. Hmm. I think I'm going to wait and decide because I don't know yet. I don't want to start Sully quests. You know what? I think... I think I might decorate instead of quest... for a bit um because mike's gonna need to level up a bit more and i'm not really feeling like doing gardening at the moment and he's he's gardening so that's gonna be the fastest way to level him up so i'm gonna 
gonna take a snack break and then come back. Um, and we can decide if we want to decorate an area in Dreamlight Valley. Um, I'm just gonna think about it because I'm not sure where I might want to start. If we can't, if I don't think of somewhere that I want to decorate in Dreamlight Valley, we can always go back and do the Animal Crossing entrance as well, the island entrance or the airport area. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go take a bit of a break. So it's let's see, it's 2:35. Um, let's see, do I want 10 minutes or 15? Let's just do a 15 minute break. So I'll come back at like 2:50. And we'll go from there. So I just want to encourage you all, get some water, have a snack, whatever you need to do. Take care of yourselves. And I will see you all very soon. Thank you so much for being here. Yes, thank you, Ray. 
Hey, everyone. Okay, so change in plans, actually. Let me just hop on here. Chat with you for a minute here. Oh, I forgot that Kimber is still on here. Hold on a second. Um... Okay. Um, okay, so I'm actually really struggling with like some fatigue right now. Um, so I'm trying to think about like what I wanted to decorate. Um, and honestly, like I just want to go lay on my couch and decorate without being on stream. Um, I love being here. I love chatting with you all. Um, but it's just been a lot this past week medically and whatnot. So I just kind of just want to rest. Um, so I am going to um, go ahead and raid on over. Um, it looks like Sky is streaming right now, so I'm really excited for um, for you guys to see their stream. Um, her content is amazing. Um, I know you've um, chatted with Sky in chat here, but I, I'm just really excited to share one of their um, one of her streams with you. Um, and we will go from there. And I might be on again later today. It just kind of depends on how I'm feeling. Yeah, it looks like Sky's playing Subnautica. Which is super fun. So, okay, let me just make sure I'm spelling the... Um, the username correctly, and I'll get a raid message going for everyone. Almost ready, y'all. All right, so I'm sending in a raid message if everybody wants to copy and paste it. All right. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to be streaming on Tuesday, um, which is another reason I don't want to overdo it today because I want to make sure um, that I have enough energy and... And everything's ready for Tuesday. Um, so I, I might do some like pop-up streams every now and again. Um, but in terms of like what's actually scheduled uh, for sure. Um, Tuesday we're going to be doing Crafter Noon from noon to 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, and then we'll be back next Sunday for a stream. Hopefully longer than it was today. Um, like I said, I just have a lot of fatigue today. And I, I'm not going to force myself to stream when I'm not really feeling that excited about it right like i want to be here with you but i also am so tired so i just think we'll have better streams if we um 
if we do it when I'm, you know, energized and want to be here. So um, let's just cut it short for today. And we'll hope that next week on Sunday we have uh, more time together. Um, but I do appreciate you all so, so, so much. I appreciate you just for being here, whether you're chatting or lurking or whatever. It's just great. Um, I love that we can all come together and enjoy something, um, you know, that, that brings us all some joy. So, okay. Without further ado, let's head on over to Labyrinth of Sound. All right, much love everybody. Have a good week, I'll see you in a couple days hopefully.